classes will get there. I, I think you had a chance to, to play around this a bit. Yeah, but it's, um, are those but, the ones you have on right now or no? Um, no, this is sort of, I mean, these are the ones that are available today. And right. these are like REI glasses. So, I mean, it's, you know, the, they're glasses, they can, um, you know, the, the main thing is they can, um, you can take photos or videos with them. Um, I love just using them for listening to music um, and taking phone calls on them because your ears are open, right? So it doesn't like, it doesn't obscure your ability to hear anything else. Um, the audio quality is really good, right? Because it has a microphone, like it's a contact mic um, that's like basically in yeah. the nose pad. Audio quality so when is I'm, great. Yeah, so when I'm like, you can be on a plane and take a phone call mm -hmm. and like the other person on the other side can't even hear that you're on a plane. Like it's just like the, you can be in a wind tunnel and it's just like whatever. It's the, the sound quality is, is amazing. But then the main thing is um, they're AI glasses. So you can, uh, glasses I think are like the perfect form factor for a device where if you want to have an AI that you let see what you see, hear what you hear, it can talk to you. You can talk to it throughout the day. Um, and glasses is that's like, you know, yeah, if you want to have something that has the same context to the world that you do, that's, it's going to be glasses. And there's like, there's like a billion or 2 billion people in the world who wear glasses already. Mm. So to me, the, you know, the chance that we look back like a decade from now and like all those glasses aren't AI glasses by that period, it's kind of like, like obviously all the flip phones were going to become smartphones, right? I mean, that like that was clearly a thing that was going to happen. I think that's going to happen with, um, with, glasses. with glasses too. But the, um, the other piece of this is that you're going to get the ability to kind of put holograms in the world, right? So our, our experience with technology today is, um, I don't know, it's kind of funny in a way how it's divided where it's like you, you know, we have the physical world all around us. And then if you want to interact with something digital, you need to like put a screen up, right? So maybe it's like this, you know, you have your, your small glowing rectangle, your phone with you, you know, you, you have like, you know, your screen, if you want to like project something. Yeah, your computer. Um, but I, I think in the not too distant future, this should be blended together, right? You'll have like the physical world, but all this digital stuff should just basically be holograms. It sh you shouldn't need like a physical screen. Um, like there's no reason why in the future, you know, you want to have a screen there you'll just have glasses and that screen will be a hologram. Right. And that's what and you'll you have, see it. That's what you put me in. Yeah. Somebody put me in a damn, yeah, yeah. No, in that's, a that's final um, season of stranger things back there. Yeah. I got put in whatever they put on me. It was like lens crafters makes lens crafters look pretty, you know, lame. But <laughs> well, they, it's, um, it's different. It's, it was, well, it was crazy. I'll say it, it was like, can I say what happened? On yeah. It? Yeah. Yeah. It was, so they put it, you put the glasses on and they're, they're, it's like an advancement of the pair that you have on now. Right. So it's like years down the line, how many years down the line do you realistically think that those could, um, I'm hoping that we'll have a version of that as a product in a few years, but it's like going four years or eight years, hopefully closer to four, okay. um, or even less, but, um, but it's, I, I think that the, there will still be simpler glasses like this, mm -hmm. and then there will be more complex glasses. Those will be more expensive. There's more right. technology. Right, what do you want, kind them. of? Yeah, but so some people will want, like, more tech. They'll want the holograms. Some people just want a simple experience where it's like, all right, I got the AI. I got the ability to listen to music and phone calls yeah. and, and do all that. Um, and then, obviously, the less tech that you put into them, the thinner they can be which I mean, some people like bulky glasses. Some people want thin glasses. And um, yeah, it was fascinating. Yeah, yeah. They had a, a thing on my wrist, right? Uh huh. Uh, like neural the, interface. A neural interface. You can, yeah, you, I mean, you can basically control the glasses with your mind through signals that you're sending from your brain to your hand. Yes, it was fascinating. It was like I could like um, touch different nodules that I needed to and stuff or mm -hmm. different nodes, whatever it's called. I yeah. could look at certain things and that would highlight what it was. And it was like a, it was just a screen in midair. Uh -huh. And I could walk around the side of the room and then come back and the screen would still be there, but it wasn't really there in real life. It was just there with the glasses on. Yeah, it's a hologram. Yes. And it was, it was crazy, man. I don't know... And then I was like, well, my first thought was like, well, how do you just get people to adapt to this? Because people aren't just going to go from where we are right now to adapt. And then I realized, okay, there's different stair steps. There's like 
almost like when you got the first smartphone, like you're saying, yeah. and then in advance, or mm -hmm. the first mobile phone, and then you have the first meta glasses, and then it advances and stuff like that. So it was fascinating. There was a part where me and another man, who I just met him, and we played ping pong and I believe uh -huh. it was an Asian guy. And I don't know if they did that on purpose or not. And I don't know if ping pong is Asian, but it's people think it is. And I started playing with this man back there, you know, and it, the did table, huh? Did you win? Dude, wh who knows? We're in the future. I don't know if they keep score. I think everybody gets a medal. No, you definitely keep score. Oh, you do. Yeah, yeah. And then okay. in our future, not everyone gets a medal. Yeah. I like that. No, huh? it's, <laughs> oh, are you not? Yeah, no, it's like, yeah, no, yeah. that's, that's more. Yeah. Oreo fire up the yeah. grill. <laughs> yeah. No, it's, <laughs> Loser burns, but no, um, the, uh, but the, we could play a game of, and it was a not real. It was a ping pong table in front of us. That was not uh, real. It was th like 3d ping pong. Yes. Too. Yeah. So yeah. it wasn't, the, it wasn't there. Uh huh. Someone could ride their bike through like your dumb brother could yeah. ride his freaking bike. Like, dang it. Yeah. Ricky, bro, you freaking rode right through our net. So, I mean, I think it's an interesting thought experiment. How many of the things that we physically have that's what aren't going to need to be there in the future, right. right? So pretty much every screen doesn't need to be there, right? It, it'll just be a hologram. Um, any media, any book that you're playing, any board game, that any will cards, be nice. those are... Yeah. That'd be nice because one thing I hate is at the airport, all these TVs are on our air. It's yeah. like everything is so loud now. It's like, can you just make it for you? Just turn it down. Why yeah, does every? It. Why yeah. do we all have to experience this yeah, no, exactly. painful noise sometimes? Yeah, it's like... You're driving through a, a city and there's billboards and nothing is personalized. It's like how TV used to be, right? I mean, in the in the future, you know, now like all the stuff that you use on your phone, it's like you get exactly what you're interested in and it's a, just a much more, a much higher quality experience. Yeah. But that, there's all this physical stuff that just stuck, right? And, and is static. And um, yeah, I mean, everything I think is going to be able to... Um, Sorry, not, not not everything, but but it's. I think it's an interesting thought experiment. How much of the stuff that we physically have today that just doesn't actually need to exist in the future? Mm. Um, so 